vaccinations are so important and I can do better as a parent, as a human. And I hope to God everybody else can too. 아, 안녕하세요. 오랜만에 여기서 와서 운동합니다. 오늘은 8월 7일인가요? 8월 8일인가요? 토요일입니다. 오늘 며칠인지 모르겠네. 오늘도 날씨가 엄청 덥고 야구는 졌고 아, 오늘은 스트레칭이랑 하복근 운동이랑 플랭크 자세를 위주로 하고 저녁 먹고 해가 니언니어 떨어질 때쯤은 런닝을 뛰러 갈 겁니다. 일단 스트레칭이랑 아, 몸을 풀고 하복근 운동을 하도록 하겠습니다. 역시 운동할 때 CNA죠. Have been at odds with their governor over what to do. Florida's governor standing firm on his ban on mass mandates. If you're coming after the rights of parents in Florida, I'm standing in your way. I'm not going to let you get away with it. But Florida's Orange County School District is doing what they can to help telling school employees they must wear masks. In Louisiana, the emotional toll on frontline workers is evident. The state currently has the highest rate of new COVID-19 infections per capita in the nation. We're stressed because we thought that this was getting better. And now we're working as hard, even harder than we did a few months ago. Heading into the weekend, there are concerns of another possible super spreader event in South Dakota as 700,000 visitors are expected to attend the Sturgis Motorcycle Rally, an event that drew fire last year in the state that pushed back against COVID safety protocols. Republican Governor Kristi Noem tweeting, there's risk associated with everything we do in life. Bikers get that better than anyone. This year, the city says it will provide free COVID self-test kits. These are just little tests that you get, that you take home, uh, you still do the nose swab, but you have results within about 15 minutes. And with cases surging across the country, masks continue to be a hotly debated issue. In Georgia, Governor Brian Kemp has said the state does not need a mandate for citizens to, quote, do the right thing. Meanwhile, on the local level, there is a push to increase vaccine confidence, especially among communities of color. Here on Buford Highway, which is a predominantly Latino district of Atlanta, CORE, Community Organized Relief Effort, is giving out free vaccine for those 12 and up. Nick Valencia, CNN, Atlanta. There's a concerning trend in the COVID pandemic, the substantial increase in cases among children and teens. That's according to the American Academy of Pediatrics. They say that nearly 4.2 million kids have tested positive since the beginning of the pandemic. More than 72,000 are just from last week. The numbers have been rising steadily since the beginning of July. Dr. John McGuire is the chief of the Division of Pediatric Critical Care Medicine at Seattle Children's Hospital, and he's also an associate professor of pediatrics at University of Washington School of Medicine. Doctor, thank you so much for joining us. Uh, earlier this week, the American Academy of Pediatrics reported that COVID-19 mm -hmm. cases among uh, American children and teens jumped 84% in a week. What are you seeing right now at your hospital? Oh, we certainly are seeing a, an increase in the number of children being hospitalized with COVID and particularly with more severe.